With this video, I will help you better understand how audience analysis can help you create a more effective speech. One key part of audience analysis is demographics, or as the I Speak book said, characteristics of people. This can be a person's economic status, um, their age, or even their own particular worldview. Demographics can be found in a number of ways. You could observe the audience, although if you're using these binoculars to observe the audience, you are probably too far away. You want to make sure that you're observing, um, not stalking. Stalking is never good. You could also interview members of the audience to see where they might be coming from. Overall, your goal should be to understand who you will be speaking to. Alright, so maybe you know all of this about demographics. Uh, you read the book very closely and you're ready to move on. Now you're saying, yeah, sure, but how can this help me create a more effective speech? Well, that's what I'm here for, to help you create a more effective speech, right? So let's start, let's pretend that you're a forensic science major. You are hugely interested in how scientists solve crimes and cannot wait to finish college to do this as a career. Because of this, you want to do your speech on forensic science. That seems to make sense, right? But stop right there. This topic is very broad, so maybe you should consider your audience to help you narrow it down a bit. Let's see. Uh, your friend Priscilla, who's a music major, spends most of her time playing cello. And then there's Joel, who is always helping you with your homework, but he's a business major and frankly he cares a, only a little bit about science. And you also know a few other classmates who are perplexed with your forensic science major. So let's rethink this a second. Hmm. So let's use the thinking man's help and let's really think about this issue. So maybe you shouldn't give every detail about forensic science. You don't have time for that anyways. You should definitely explain the basics, but how can you encourage the audience to care? Hmm. Well, a lot of your classmates say they use television to wind down after a long day. And Priscilla did mention that she watches crime shows and other students seemed at least familiar with them when she brought them up. But the problem with these crime shows is that they're not really a proper representation of forensic science. Ah! You can compare and contrast forensic science on TV to real life. This will allow you to talk about what you'd like, but also give the audience something they will want to hear more about. Okay! Now that you know your topic, go narrow down your idea even more and get to writing your speech. Good luck!